Okay? And we have three different solutions. One solution is hydrogen with respect to the cell, to the cytoplasm of the cell. The other one is isotonic with respect to the cell. And the other one is hypotonic with respect to the cell. Okay? Now, the critical question I have for you is, in which two, once we put these cells in each of these tubes, in which two does water flow out of the cell? Right? So the flow of water has to do with the salt concentration. Okay? So, if you have read more, hopefully you will be able to answer this question. So I'm going to open the poll, make two polls, see the results, and then we we'll discuss the, the results. Uh, a and B, and I know that you cannot leave A and B, so I don't want to say three, but that's okay. It's a complete advice. Okay, so, about tonicity, okay? Tonicity is the ability of the solution to cause the cell to lose or gain water. That's the definition of tonicity. And obviously, it depends on the concentration of solutes that cannot cross the membrane. So the concentration of solute in and out of the cell is going to regulate the movement of the water in or out of the cell. Okay? So what happens in a hypertonic solution? Hypertonic, again, this is a relative term that means that this solution has a concentration of solute higher than the concentration of solute inside the cell. Okay? Isotonic means that the concentration of solute is similar to the concentration of solute in the cell. And hypotonic means that the concentration of solute in this solution is lower than the concentration of solute inside the cell. Okay? Okay. So, if we put this cell in a hypertonic solution, water is going to move towards the solution with the higher salt concentration. The higher salt concentration here is outside of the cell. So, water is going to move outside of the cell. Okay? In this case, if we put the, um, the, the cell in a hypertonic solution, the concentration of salt is clearly 